Okay, so here's the snare drum all taken apart. Got to replace this inner screen because it ripped. So this will be a chance to kind of check out what the inside of it all looks like. It's just a wooden cross member attached to the inside of the snare drum. It's got this adjustable platform on it so you can move it up and down, make it less or more sensitive if you need to. The trigger's under this little foam trigger and uh, it's got a wired into a quarter inch jack so you can easily put the jack in and out. And it's got a kind of crudely attached trigger on the outside for a rim shot. It's stuck there with a piece of Gorilla Tape, but it works. So I'm going to be taking this piece and reskinning it with Super Screen. Super Screen is just a lot better than fiberglass screen. Here's one that's uh, already been a little bit used, but still has a lot of life left in it. Um, I found the fiberglass screen really kind of just rips too fast and has to be replaced really often, but this stuff will stand up for months before it has to be replaced. It's the stuff you can get at Home Depot. It's like pet proof and it's coated and it's really, really, really strong and durable so you can wail on it pretty hard. So here's the inner rim with all the screen material removed. It's basically just a regular drum skin, something that was used and cheap, and I just cut all the existing drum skin material off of it so just the rim was left. And this is what we we'll use to string all of the uh, super screen onto and kind of sew it on. And then that'll last for a really, really long time as an inner screen. And then we're also going to attach an outer screen to it so that if there is a rip in the future, it'll only occur on the outer screen and have to be replaced instead of having to re-sew this thing every time. So here it is getting started. Just got a little bit of it sewed on right here. The rest of it's just attached with safety pins to keep it held in place for now. But this is pretty much what you do all the way around the edge. Just make it nice and tight and then uh, trim off all the excess when it's done. And it'll fit right over the drum shell. Okay, so here's the mesh head skin all attached and trimmed. Pretty much ready to go and attach. So, since we're using this really durable screen material, and we're actually going to layer two different layers of material onto the drum shell. Put the rim on first, and then with a second layer of super screen over the top of that before we actually attach the rim and torque it down. This is going to give us the ability to tighten this down a lot tighter than a traditional mesh head would really allow you to do without ripping it. So this can actually be torqued down to a tension where it's going to be really bouncy and responsive and not mushy like a traditional mesh head tends to be. So this is the way to do it if you want to really have a, an authentic feel to it on an electric set. Okay, so here it is all finished and mounted back up. Torqued down nice and tight so it's got a nice nice bouncy feel to it. Doesn't feel mushy at all, but you can really wail on it hard without worrying about ripping it, and it doesn't make a lot of sound. So, perfect for playing indoors, perfect for playing in your apartment or whatever. You're not going to disturb your neighbors by playing this set and uh, turn the volume down low on your drum brain.